So are you ready for this double header? Is that what it's called in basketball? I guess it could be. It's certainly <laughs> not a name. But back to back. Am I ready? Sure. The question is, is Mr. J back here oh. ready? He's getting ready by playing video games. Oh, he's getting pumped up, huh? Yeah. You're getting ready, he's huh? He's focusing. Dude? Is that how you focus in on making some baskets? And playing tough defense? No. No. You know, I've learned that I'm going to be super excited whenever he does super great. And I'm just going to try to be mellow the rest of the time. Because <laughs> I don't want to get overly excited from seeing how he does in practice and, and other stuff. And then kind of, you know, like the, it's not that I'm disappointed in him or anything. It's just that it's like a slight letdown because I know how good he is. And it's not that I'm pressuring him to be good. It's just he is good. So, I don't know. It's just one of those things where I got to learn to. Relax. To tone back just a little bit. So that's why I never wanted to coach him, because I know that I'm an intense sports player kind of person. You know, sports player kind of person. Uh, I'm just more intense when it comes to winning and, and taking a loss. It's like, not a matter of well, winning, I, well, just know, trying. I, I, well, I know, but I'm saying like it leads into winning. If you're playing your hardest, if your whole team's playing their hardest, there's a really high likelihood that they're gonna probably come out on top and win, unless they're just like the worst players you've ever seen and they're just getting together to play basketball or so but that's not the case with our team we have a yeah, team full of good kids that they can play basketball pretty well and it's just it's gonna be fun you didn't meditate before the game honey. I, I don't know <laughs> you know I, I'm, I'm okay today I think, I think I'm gonna be fine because I'm not setting myself up for high expectations today if he if he does good then then I'm gonna be happy of course if he does bad I'll still be fine. It's not like it's going to be the end of the world, you know, but it's just knowing that your child is really good at something and the effort that gets put forth isn't always at the top of his effort level. Like I said, I think it still comes down to being shy. I think a lot of it does And intimidation because he knows they're third graders. Yeah, I think that just in his head, knowing that they're third graders, he, he it's intimidating to him. And of course, they're all taller than he is. Yeah, they so. are. <laughs> but hey. There's lots of short people in the NBA, you know. It, it's not all about your height. Of course, height helps. Good defense, Jacob. Good pass, Jacob. Jacob just made two dollars. Good job, Jacob. One for a rebound, one for a shot. Twenty-one to four. That was an ugly game. We lost. Wow. <laughs> Calm down, coach. Another tough loss, eight to twenty. <laughs> but look how big these kids are. We played. They're pretty big compared to our guys. That's a lot of doorknob stuff here, guys. Since we've lived in this house, we've had brass doorknobs and stuff, and Amy has just she hasn't been a fan of it. It's just we really haven't felt like getting around to doing it, I guess. And this weekend was a nice weekend outside, and we figured, hey, we're gonna be spray painting and. It'll be awesome. We'll have lots of fun, and uh, we decided to go ahead and break down and get rid of all this brass, huh? Yay. Hey, it's your idea. Hey, would you rather spend like three or four hundred dollars replacing them, or sixty dollars a paint? I guess we'll be Pinteresting in them. Pinteresting in them. Them. How was your basketball game today, dude? Yeah. yeah. Did you make any baskets? One. One. Nice. We see your belly. I tried to make it, but I missed, and I got a rebound. Yeah, so you took a shot and missed it. Got a rebound in one game, so you earned two bucks there. 
And then the next game, he uh, actually took a shot with like, we were playing a bunch, these kids were pretty big. And he shot it over a group of big kids. Hopefully I got the footage, because Amy had the camera. And she says there was this lighting issue. There was. She said like there was like a bright light back, like, back over here, how you see that bright light? She said there was something like that. So yeah. I think I got the shot. Alright, well, we're going to have fun with all this. Put that basketball footage in, and then we'll see if there's anything else left to do for the day. Alright, so everything has been been uh, sanded down, and we are now in the priming process. So we get to wear these awesome masks so that we don't get too high while we're out here. Right, Amy? Right. She's working pretty hard. I've got my uh, bottle of primer right here, my little can, that I have yet to use. I've just been watching her. She's doing a great job, by the way. Good job, baby. But yeah, everything's getting primed. Looking good. Got to get it nice and primed, nice and smooth. No bubbles or drips or anything. Looking good, actually. They're drying fast, too. Because you can see back here, these, those look dry almost already. A primer or an actual paint? Primer. Huh. Like the few minutes in between. Right, I got you. All right. Well, I gotta get started on doing these guys. This is my little rig that I made for the doorknobs that are that really hang down. Got some fencing. Just goes straight over, so that'll be nice and easy. I'll show you some more of the, the process as we go along here, because I know some of you might want to change your doorknobs around. It's really simple, besides all the, the, time the long, time-consuming work. It's, it's simple work, though. So here's everything finished priming, guys. It's kind of dark in here, because I turned the light off in the garage. And then, got all these over here, all the, these doorknobs and all the little lock pieces. It's all here. All the screws, everything got primed. Looks awesome. Like I said, it's dark in here. But we're, we're done for tonight. We're gonna, uh, we're leaving the garage door open for like, you know, like 30 minutes or so, let it air out, because you get pretty high in here. If you, if you don't have a mask on, like right now I don't have a mask, so you know. Um, and then tomorrow morning we're going to come back through and we're going to uh, actually paint. So that should be pretty cool. The piece was off on the side over there. Didn't need to be there. All right, so I think that's it. We're fixing to do movie night. We're going to finally, remember uh, a few months back I said that we were going to, uh, that Jacob really wanted to see Batman. And I was, I was kind of torn. So I take him to the theater and see it. And I finally decided on not taking him to the theater. I figured I'd wait till DVD. So if it seems like it's too intense, I can turn the movie off. Um, so we're gonna watch Batman now. Uh, it's gonna be pretty awesome, I think. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes, and we'll give you a review when we're done. We'll let you know what we thought about it, and if Jacob was able to make it through the movie or not. What are you doing over here? Aren't you supposed to be watching a movie? <laughs> I am. No, not shaytards. No. So how was the movie, honey? It was good. Yeah. For what? Like, okay. <laughs> She's done with the vlog today, guys, because we watched the movie. Her friend called her like 45 minutes into the movie, and they talked for 45 minutes. No. And then she just left the area for the movie. She left the movie theater over here to go sit over there and watch Shay well, I couldn't get into it because I was on the phone for so long with my It friend. was a good movie, too, and you missed it. Okay, I can watch it another day. Liar. She's lying right now. She will not Why watch it. Well, because no, I'm saying she she won't watch it again. It's a long movie. See, I know my wife, and she doesn't like watching long movies. So what was your thoughts on it? Really good. Huh? That's yeah. really good. Was there parts of it that you didn't like though, or is it kind of long in parts of it? And parts I didn't like. Like what? When Batman, I died. thought he died. He almost died. Uh huh. But he and saved then, Gotham City, huh? And then. The part. Um, uh, uh. And uh, nothing. Uh huh. You know what my favorite part was? My favorite part was when you hit a jump shot today. No. Here, give me five. Part of the movie. No, give me five for it. Yeah. What? Ow. Ow.